welcome to Jeremy's Retro Bar. I'm Jeremy and this is my Retro Bar and this week we're going to be upgrading this Mac Plus with an internal blue SCSI but of course first we're going to need to make ourselves a drink. So for this week's drink we're going to be making a drink that my wife makes all the time. A Deep Eddy Lemon and Club. We're going to start with a rocks glass filled with ice. Two ounces of Deep Eddy Lemon Vodka and then we're going to fill the rest with club soda. And there you have a Deep Eddy Lemon and Club. Beautiful, refreshing, light. It's great, cheap, and easy. All right, now let's get to upgrading this Mac Plus. So I have here a Mac Plus, and this Mac Plus has been on the channel before, um, where I uh, did some recapping on it, I believe, uh, a while ago. And uh, for this, I wanted to upgrade it to have an internal blue SCSI. Now currently, I actually have on the back of it a original blue SCSI, a version 1 blue SCSI, and you can see here. Uh, it just sticks off the back, but also because of the uh, SCSI spec, uh, they didn't quite have the spec worked out and it didn't have the power part finalized. So I've got to power it over a, a USB and actually it has to be a pretty beefy USB because at first I thought it didn't work. And it just adds a lot of clutter to something that typically just has the one power uh, line. So I'm going to use this really cool thing that Joe over at Joe's Computer Museum came up with and it's called uh, the Clipper Plus and it's just a... Uh, a little clipper thing it goes right on the SCSI chip and so it just steals the lines from it and gives us an internal SCSI port and then of course attaching to that internal SCSI port I'm gonna attach a blue SCSI so it'll clean this up it'll make the Mac Plus look a little nicer and it will give me a nice new blue SCSI to be inside of this Mac Plus so uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and crack this guy open and we can get started. So let's get into any classic Mac. We're gonna need a T15 long screwdriver. I also hide this one behind this port. Cool, and that should just pop right off. Go ahead and remove the floppy and the power to the board. Cool. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this straight out. You can see here that we've got the, this is going to face the rear of the computer. And so that's gonna go onto our SCSI chip, which is gonna be right there. So put that over it. Lines up pretty nice. I'm just gonna push down firmly. Wow. Huh. Actually went in a little easier than I was expecting. So looks like we're in there. That looks pretty good. While I've got it open, I'm actually going to use this internal mounting kit for the blue SCSI. I've got my original uh, micro SD. I'm going to put it into a SD adapter and put that into the blue SCSI. Now for the mount that Joe made, uh, it actually mounts upside down, and so I'm going to remove the blue SCSI from this. Great. So then we've got an extra. So I'm going to take this, and it's got these three standoffs. Look like I just plug them into place. I guess depending on my configuration. Now that lines up based on my configuration. Cool. Now that we have that mounted there, 
that's just gonna slide right onto the cage. I realized in editing that I did a terrible job of getting a shot of the blue SCSI mount. So you can see here, it just is this plastic piece that mounts to the floppy cage. You can see the standoffs. And I actually attached this plastic piece to the floppy cage using two pieces of double-sided tape. Cool, now I'm going to hold the clipper plus in place and place this into the rails and then pull the SCSI cable up. As I push down, I'm just gonna keep holding this onto the chip as I pull this cable. Days. I'm going to go ahead and connect up the blue SCSI and then I'm going to pop this onto its little mounts here. Now let's put her back on and let's see if this works. All right, I've got everything in there. It's all buttoned up. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it all works. And it sees it and we're booting. Nice. There it is. So it's got everything that I had from before. And then it's got my app hard drive. And then I also have a games hard drive. So that is great. So glad that it worked, but uh, full disclosure, uh, the first time I tried to boot it up, it didn't. Uh, I had to reseat the Clipper Plus once, so I must have just had some pins not hitting quite right, but uh, now it's in there, it's really good, and uh, it's just so nice to have the Mac Plus have a hard drive, so we don't have to have a thing under it or a thing hanging off the back of it. We just get this nice, really slick, cool, original Mac, kind of style but with all of the power that it should have originally had so anyway it's very exciting and uh yeah that's really it for this video it's a pretty simple easy quick uh <laughs> quick one but uh yeah hopefully i'll have a lot more content here in the near future so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you next time